from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, October the 19th, 2021. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett met today with the ambassadors to Israel of Bahrain and of the United Arab Emirates. Bennett met Khaled al-Jalama and Mohammed al-Kaja, respectively, for lunch today, where the three discussed building upon the Abraham Accords and deepening the ties between the countries. Bennett told the two, the stronger the bond between our countries, the stronger the security and stability of the entire region. al Qaja also presented Bennett with an invitation from Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi in the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, to officially visit the Emirates. Palestinians clashed with Israel police today near Jerusalem's Damascus Gate in the Old City. Police used riot dispersal measures after they said the Palestinians were throwing stones at passing buses, breaking windows. Eleven people were arrested. Israel today approved a measure to allow the Palestinian Authority to register several thousand Palestinians living in the West Bank, living without official residency status for years. Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz approved what he called a humanitarian civilian move to update the details of some 4,000 Palestinians in Judea and Samaria in the Palestinian Population Registry. Gantz tweeted, these are residents who have been in Judea and Samaria for many years, but for various reasons were not eligible for documentation. Gantz said, the move is part of my policy to strengthen the economy and improve the lives of Palestinians in Judea and Samaria. Legal proceedings began today in Germany for the former Nazi concentration camp secretary who failed to appear last month for her trial. 96-year-old Ermagard Ferkner faces charges of complicity in the killings of more than 11,000 people at the Stutthof concentration camp in Poland during the Holocaust. Her trial was supposed to begin on September the 30th, but as we reported to you, she was a no-show, apprehended several hours after not appearing in court. Israeli judokas returned to Israel this weekend with several medals from the Paris Grand Slam 2021. 23-year-old Raz Hershko, who was a member of Israel's bronze-winning team at the Olympics this summer, won a gold medal in the women's 78-plus kilogram category. In Bar Lanier won a bronze in the same category, and Geffen Primo took home a gold as well in the women's 52-kilogram category, ranking Israel in third place overall following Japan and Russia for the most medals won out of the 45 countries who took part in the international competition. Well, decades after disgraceful treatment in Portugal, the country today gave a Holocaust hero a measure of honor. Aristides de Souza Mendes was the Portuguese consul stationed in Bordeaux, France in 1940, where in defiance of his order, he issued visas to thousands of Jews and other refugees, enabling them to escape through Portugal to the United States and other safe harbors. Because of these actions, Sousa Mendes was expelled from his diplomatic service, and he and his family blacklisted and disgraced, their home repossessed, left to live in poverty. And Sousa Mendes died in poverty in 1954. Well, in a special ceremony today, a plaque and tomb for Sousa Mendes was unveiled in the National Pantheon in Portugal, Parliamentary leader Eduardo Ferro Rodriguez said of Sousa Mendes, may his entry into the national pantheon contribute to perpetuating his memory and the example of his conduct, which serves as a beacon in times of new difficulties and challenges for the collective memory, demonstrating the value of resistance to the unjust and inhuman. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, October the 19th at 7 o'clock. An encore presentation of Eric Goldman's interview with filmmaker Evgeny Ruman, director of the film Golden Voices. 
At 7.30, Israel's President Isaac Herzog, Jewish Federations of North America President and CEO Eric Fingerhut, U.S. Representative Richie Torres, and former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley are some of the key participants in the 2021 General Assembly of the JFNA. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with career diplomat and advisor on Israeli foreign policy Yoram Ettinger. At 10, professor of politics Ehud Manor discusses his biography of former Israeli foreign affairs minister Yigal Alon. And coming up next, it's the ILTV's Insider. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, October the 19th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.